them look really not sexy. Not sexy. So we wanted to do like a very like maybe warm mocha, which is very monochromatic. Nude. You guys can actually test this out. These are also our other shades, but you guys will actually see it all in the bus. The only reason why we didn't display like makeup artist edition is because it's sold out. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> My mom bought it all. Just to prove a point. No, no, no. Um, like right now, what I'm wearing on my face, I'm wearing the ruby, um, I'm actually using the BB cream, and um, for my eyebrows, I'm using the retractable um, waterproof liner. So, I have to admit, when they first came, when they came out with this, I was like, oh no, you know, my hair is blonde, I have to make it really light, and then I realized, after trying it out, um, since it's an eyeliner, I also use it as an eyebrow pencil. It's just really how light you do the strokes. So what I do is I, I actually like start the pencil application from the which I share in my book and color collection is a sponsor. Face to face and healing power of makeup. Available at National Bookstore. And one hundred percent of my royalties go to Philippine Red Cross. Wow. It is promise. <laughs> So I don't make anything from the book at all. And in fact, um, <coughs> one of the subjects from the 22 subjects in my book um, is their top seller. Her name is Jenny Lapitan, where her story is Rags to Riches. She used to sleep in the market with her with her mom. And she had to, she would feed her siblings like um, sugar ba? Something. Something hindi siya ula. Para lang to survive, and then now she earns. She's made. She's her top seller for million in a month. Wow. Wow. So if you want to be a direct seller, why the then ask Kreska. So this is also a way to encourage students, especially like in the states. You know, with recession, um, a lot of these other direct selling brands. You know, they encourage for them to pay off their student loans and earn earn extra income. It's really how they do. Um, we have like all these pajama parties or during school break where they all get together and do a powwow and you know they get to make money and have fun at the same time. So this is really reaching to a different demographic and at the same time it's it's making them feel that um, like when we were in UP a lot of a lot of the girls that who, who spoke to us they all said you know I'm really not a makeup person but I was so surprised that the shades are so wearable, they're not intimidating, and um, the biggest, biggest seller is really our BB cream. Um, I super love our BB cream because, you know, I'm sure all of you guys have tested every BB cream out there, and we all have to agree, they're so maputé, and they're so thick. They're like whipped cream. Diba? And it's so mainet. And you know, uh, it, it's valid because nga, it was originally used as a dermatological, uh, dermatological use to really cover up scars. However, the nice thing about our BB cream, I think it's the only BB cream like in the country today. I think there's another brand, but they it's really, really expensive. I'll be honest, it's Body Shop and they sell it for like two something. And the package is actually half the size. So this one, if um, some people wonder when you squirt out the product, some droplets of water come out. So you actually think it's like makeup separating and it's old. No, it's not. It's just to show you that's how water-based it is. So it's really fresh for the skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. And you know, if you if you see Liz's blog, and she's very brutally honest about her reviews. Can I just tell you? Like, thank you, Jesus, that she likes her products. <laughs> diba? So, um, um, I'm, I'm an NC30 in MAC, just for reference. NC30, NC35. And yeah. the great it's, thing it's about this, which I share in my book, which um, I used on, on Jenny, where half of her face had no makeup and half of her face, I put the, the BB cream. You know, um, I don't know how heavy you like your coverage, but it covers pretty well, I have to say. So, um, the nice thing about it, um, it not like I said, it's it's fresh because the skin. So it, even I've actually used it on I've used it in my lips. Don't hear that. But um, I've used it on I've tested it out on on certain guys like for photo shoots, just to see like how it holds up on them and how it looks on camera. Of course, they don't know that I'm testing it on them. And you know, I mean, this is also great for makeup artists. I, I think guys should be aware that 
it's okay to want to better your complexion, you know, because it has whitening, toning properties, and all that. So there's nothing gay about it. And if you're gay, yeah. 